Hello, my name is Robin Price, and this is my presentation on heat, thermal energy, and temperature. Before we discuss these three concepts, I'd like to first discuss kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is energy in motion. It is energy of mass in motion. It can either be vertical or horizontal, rotational, vibrational, or translational. It's important to remember that kinetic energy can be stored and conserved, but it cannot be created or destroyed. It can only be converted from one form to another. Also, kinetic energy can be transferred from one body to another, which would be called elastic or inelastic. It's also important to remember that kinetic energy can, can be converted into electrical energy by a generator or into thermal energy by the brakes on a car. So, speaking about heat first. Heat is caused by a flow of thermal energy due to differences in temperature. Heat flows from one object at higher temperatures to another object at lower temperatures. It's transferred through a process called conduction, convection, and radiation. It's important to know that heat is also a measure of average kinetic energy of the particles in a sample of matter, and these are expressed in, un in terms of units and degrees on a standard scale. So the three concepts, heat, temperature and thermal energy all relate to each other. When we talk about heat, we speak about thermal heat. These are different types of energy transfers. Conduction is the transfer of heat or thermal energy by touching. This occurs in solids and is the transfer of heat from a warmer part of an object to a cooler part of the same object. Convection occurs in liquids and gases only and it's the transfer of heat through movement of particles or molecules. Warm particle, particles rise through cool particles and fill in the spaces below, sort of in a circular motion that you see here. Radiation is caused by the transfer of energy as molecular waves and they travel through matter or empty space, also comparable to the sun or the sun's rays. Next I'd like to speak about thermal energy. Thermal energy is also part of conduction, radiation, and convection. Going on to something important to remember, that matter exists in three states, solid, liquid, or gas. So when heat exists, thermal energy is created. And this all works together in something we call temperature. Temperature is the measure of the ability of a substance, or more generally any physical system, to transfer heat and energy to another physical system. The higher the temperature of an object is, the greater the tendency of that object is to transfer heat. The lower the temperature, the greater the object to receive the heat. When you're measuring temperature, it's important to remember that there are three scales. Kelvin, Celsius, and Fahrenheit. And also, there are only five countries left in the world that use the Fahrenheit scale. 